Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the electric guitar tutorial for Miraculum by Lincoln Brewster. I'm going to try to go through the full version, and I'm going to fly through it because I can already tell that this is going to be the longest tutorial that I have ever done in my entire life. Let's jump right into it. All right, so today I'm going to be playing through the Helix patch that I created specifically for this song for the Helix, HX Stomp, HX Effects, and Pod Go. So if you like these tones, feel free to pick this up for yourself. So a couple things you need to note. This song is in the key of E flat minor or G flat major, however you want to think about it. And you're going to want to tune your guitar down a half step for this song. And you're going to basically play in the key of G at that point or E minor scale wise. The second thing you need to know is Lincoln Brewster plays with a floating bridge on this song. This is going to come in really handy on the middle section and it's going to be quite difficult to get some of the things that he plays. It's, it's going to be kind of difficult to play those parts on your guitar if you don't have a floating bridge. And I'll get to that part when we get there. So I'm going to be on snapshot one and that first part sounds like this. So that first part Everything is going to be on the D string and the B string, except for that first chord. So that first chord is your uh, D string ninth fret and your G string ninth fret. And what you're going to do is you're going to hybrid pick this part. So I'm using my ring finger to hybrid pick the G string and my first, my, my actual pick to pick that low string. And then you're going to pick your D string on the 9th fret and your B string pinky 12th fret. Okay. Middle finger 10th fret. Okay. It's going to be that voicing there. Middle finger 9th fret G, uh, D string and first finger 8th fret B string. Okay. It's going to be this shape, down two frets. Then it's going to be that same shape again that we played up here. So. Different shape here. Middle finger 12th fret, D string. First finger, 10th fret, B string. Okay. And then you're going to repeat that part again. And then you're going to jump way up here to your 17th fret, D string. Same shape. And then you're going to start on your 12th fret like this. This is a different chord here. This is how I play it. It's going to be your middle finger, 9th fret, D string, and ring finger, 10th fret, B string. So. So that's going to be, it's going to be like a hammer on with your first finger from the 8th fret to the 10th fret. B string. Those are going to be some slides there. And then this is going to be all slides. Slower. It's going to be that chord again. So that's going to be that first part. So then you're going to be in verse two and it's going to sound like this. It's just going to be that same thing, but it's going to be all picked and you're going to go to your second snapshot, turn on some distortion and pretty much play that same part. 
but it's going to be... So he plays it kind of different based on live version or album recording. So you can either do, um, or you can go, and then this is where he goes to the single notes. This is on the B string, 12th fret, 13th fret bend. A bend from the eighth string. It's going to be a bend from the eighth fret to the tenth fret B string. It's going to be that chord again. It's going to be a bend on the seventh fret. Then it's going to be kind of like a, a pull off to that ninth fret G string. So it's going to be eighth fret, tenth fret B string, bend to the twelfth, then bend to the thirteenth. And then you're going to finish that off on the 20th fret, 20th fret bend, 19 to 20. And then finish that off on the 17th fret B string. So I'm going to play that all slowly. E string. And that's going to be a bend from the 19th fret to the 20th. Then you're going to be in verse 3, so I'm going to go to my third snapshot. So, one thing that you need to know is sometimes he'll like, he'll bend into notes with his, uh, his whammy bar. So keep that in mind. Like this. So that's going to be 19 to 17 to 15 on the high E string. To the middle finger 17th. To the 19th. Bend up to the 20th. Finish on the 17th. Something like that. So I'm going to play that again. So it goes on the low E string, and then it's a tr uh, it's a triad here, arpeggio. So that's going to be middle finger on the 16th fret G string to the 17th fret B string to the 15th fret E string to the 19th fret E string. 
So that's just going to be a walk up the scale there. So it's going to go. Okay. So that's going to be B string and E string, 15, 17, 19, 15, 17, 19, and then 17, 19, 20, and 17, 19, 20. And it's going to start here, and you're just going to literally walk down the scale. So if you're unfamiliar with scales, with the G major scale, E minor scale, same thing. Um, I give online Zoom lessons, and feel free to sign up for a time there, and I can walk you through how these scales work and how it um, you can easily figure out uh, these notes and all that stuff and how it all fits together. So it goes like this. Walking down the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. So it goes. And then that after that, it's going to be a bend on the 20th fret up. It goes. So it's that's all on the E string. It's going to be a bend, pull off. And then you're going to do that 15, 17, 19, B string and E string. a blues lick. If you're familiar with All To You Live, it's a, kind of a similar lick. So this is the pentatonic scale where that lies. So it's just uh, on the 12th fret, high E string. So it's 12th fret, 15th fret, E string, uh, 15th fret, B string, 12th fret, E string, 12th fret, B string. Then what I do is I bar that 15th fret, B string, and then kind of grab that G string, 15th fret. So it's going to be a slight bend, 12th fret, B string, 15th fret, B string be a walk down uh, the flat three. Okay. Then it's going to be back up here again. And it's going to be a big bend up to your high E note, your E flat note, technically. Starting on that 22nd fret. So. Okay. Then there's that kind of walk down cool thing. Okay, so I'm going to walk through that quickly. This is all on the A string and D string. So what I'm doing is I'm hybrid picking that too. You can hybrid pick and pluck your D string. So it goes. Okay. Starting on that D string, 
on the fourth fret, four, five, six, or four, five, seven, and then fourth fret G string. I'm playing that, it's just an E5 power chord. Low E string, second fret A string, and then barring that second fret D string. Okay, so now we're in that middle section, and for the life of me, when this song first came out, I couldn't figure it out. It's because I had a telly, and I did not have a strap with a floating bridge. This was when Lincoln put his floating bridge, um, I guess, engaged it for a while. He has he didn't use a floating bridge, but then this song came out, and he started using a, a whammy bar again, and this is super crucial on nailing this part, so... I'm going to switch over to my midsection snapshot. And what he does when he plays live, he uses his volume knob. Um, what I do is I use my volume pedal. And I feel like I can get a little bit more control and focus more on handling this tremolo rod. So it goes. Okay. So it's going to be your G string on the seventh fret and then your G string fifth fret and then you're gonna bend down a half step to basically hit this pitch. So it's gonna go. Okay, and then a lot of this is not picked. It's using your thumbs and your fingers to create the sound to create a little bit warmer more like violin type sound. So it's like. Okay. So we're going to be, we're in, we're still in E flat minor here. So it goes ninth fret G string. So it goes 9th fret G string to the 12th fret B string. Then the 10th fret B string. Bend up on the 12th fret B string. Let go. And then here. So the pitches you're going to do here is this. But you're going to bend down with your trim. Okay, let me do that again. It's your G string, ninth fret. Then you're going to finish that off on the tenth fret B string. And then now you're going to enter in the harmonics world. Okay. So that's going to be a harmonic. And if you don't know how to play harmonics, you're just hovering your finger over the fret and over the string and not pressing. You're just hovering. So your first harmonic is going to be on the 19th fret B string. And then 12th fret, E string. And then 19th fret, G string. Okay. And here's how you bend that up. You hit the harmonic. And then you pull on the trim. That's how you do it. Okay. So now you transition into A minor. And it's the same fingerings of, as if you did it here. But it's up here, starting on the 14th fret G string. That's where you bend it down. And it 
end that on the 15th fret B string. And then now you're going to do more harmonics. Same idea, but starting on the 12th fret B string. 15th fret D string. Or sorry, 19th fret D string. Then 12th fret G string. And then you're going to pull up uh, an entire uh, full step on the tremolo. Okay. And then you're going to play the octave of that. You're going to play the actual note there on the 22nd fret. And then you're going to basically go from A minor to C major. Sorry, C, it would be B, going from A flat to B major, but we're playing in the same scales as C major since we're tuned half step. So that's going to be from the 20th down to the 17th. And this is where you can start using your pick. And that's when you're going to hammer on. So that's going to be a bend on your E string from the 19th fret to the 20th. Then you're going to play that same part you did in A minor. play the exact same harmonics you did B string D string and G string but you're gonna play that G note that final G flat note somewhere else so it goes and here's how you get the octave up of the G flat harmonic not not on the 12th fret it's on it's on the fifth fret on the G string so it goes Then you're going to do a dive bomb. Okay. Now we're past that middle section, and this is where we get into the Carol of the Bells part. So you're, you're kind of going in and out of the key there. We're in A minor right now, A flat minor, I guess. So that's going to be here. And I'm not using my pick here. I'm kind of being soft with it. Okay. Ninth fret. Half step up to the tenth fret. And then here. Same thing. Octave up here on the... 17th fret, 17th and 19th fret. <laughs> 10th fret B string, 12th fret. And then you're going to finish it off on that 10th fret. Then you're going to do the famous walk down. <laughs> Okay, we're in, in scale wise with tune down, we're in A minor. Starting on the 17th fret E string. So it goes 17th, 15th, down to the 18th B string. 17th, 15th B string. 15 to 17 G string. And 
and then 14th fret G string. A walk up on the G string. That's going to be a different note there. 13th fret G string. Here's where we kind of go out of the key. So it's, this is going to be on the high E string. So it goes 16, 17. 16, 17 to the 13th. Back to the 16, to the 12, and then it goes. To the 13. Down to the 10th fret. So this is where we start that walk up. So that's going to be. It's going to be starting on the 7th fret to 9th fret to 11th fret. A string. And then 7th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret. And then it's going to be G string, 7th to 9th fret. Finish that off on the 10th fret, D string. Same notes, an octave up. So that's going to be starting on the 14th fret. Same patterns. 14, 16, 18. 14, 16, 17. B string, 15 to 17. So it goes. Something like that. So it goes, same notes. And then start that over again. That's how I play it. So it goes, same thing as that walk up. Then start again on that 14th fret G string. But then instead you're gonna go 15, 17, 19. Bend up to the 20th, that's familiar. Then you're in the next section. And you're back into G flat, E flat minor. Same, you know, it's it's that same scale area. So then there's that fast part. So it goes 15, 17, 19 B string. And then walk it back down. So it goes back to, that's on the E string. And then this is going to be a hammer on pull off thing on the high E string. So it goes. And then you can hammer on from the 15th to 17th. Same walk up there, just fast. You just got to practice it. So this is on the high E string. And then in the live version, Lincoln Brewster does. That's just the, the top end of the scale, starting on the third note. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. You can play it two ways. You can do 15, 14, 15, 12 on the high E string, or you can go, you can go and finish off on the 
17th fret B string. And you can do it two ways here. You can go all on the high E string, or you can go and then finish it on the 20th fret B string. Same area again. It's just fast and fluttery, and you just kind of have to feel it out and start slow. It's it's very simple as far as the notes goes, but it's just the technique that you got to get up there to make it fast. So just it's basically. You're just walking down the scale. And then it's going to be a bend on the 20th fret. So it goes. So that part is going to be 17th fret E string to the 20th fret B string. And then down to the 19th, and then a bend up. So it goes. And then this is his iconic. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to play it slow. Starting on the high E string, 15th fret. slide on the A string to the 9th fret, back to the 12th, back to the 10th. So I'm going to play that again. Back up to here again. going to start and end on that 19th fret, bending up to the 20th. So. So I'm going to do that really quick. So it's just bouncing back and forth on the 17th fret B string. Alternating with your B string and your high E string. And then this part, I kind of just follow the scale. Um, you could you could play that riff again. That was the if you're comfortable with that, or you can just walk it down the scale. That's kind of what I do. So it goes something like that. So it's just knowing the scale and kind of fluttering back and forth. So I'm gonna play it slowly. basically just got to feel it out. So it's just... So I'm going to play that slow. And usually by the time you get about to that point, you're back into it again. You're at the end of that progression. Now here comes the most hardest part of the entire song, and it sucks that it's the end of it, because if you mess it up, it's the last part. <laughs> so um, I'm going to just play that slowly for you, just so you can see, and based on the videos that I saw that, of him playing it live, this is kind of how he does it. He stays on the B string and E string and works his way up in chunks. So, so I'm going to play it slow. 
So it's just different chunks just moving up and down the neck. But you have to figure out how to pick that because it's going to be, by the time you get to that main or that BPM, it's going to be so difficult to alternate pick the entire thing. So what I do is I'll like do hammer ons and pull offs and stuff. So like if I were to play it up to speed, it might sound like this. Man, it's so hard. So I'm going to go over that first shape. So that first shape is identical on the B string and the E string. Okay, I'm going to play that slow. It's a lot of notes in there. And then it's the same type of patterns, just the notes change. So now you're up to starting on the 15th fret with your pinky, high E string. that slow next shift um, I've seen him play this part with his pinky but I like to use my ring finger for this part since the frets get smaller so it goes like this and this is the same pattern that we're familiar with shift. I'm going to play it slow. This shape is identical. This shape is identical. The only shape that is not identical is this middle section, which is the most difficult. Okay, I'm going to play it again. So you're going to basically end with your middle finger on that 19th fret B string. Bend up, bend down to the 17th fret B string. And then you're basically out of the key here. On the 16th fret B string. And then you're going to play the high E string 17th fret with your middle finger. And then you're going to slide up to the 19th fret. And then you're going to bend way up again. And then finish it off. So I'm going to play that again. It's a bend way up to the starting on the 22nd fret. And then back down to the 17th fret E string to the 20th. I'm going to play that slow. Then you're going to end it again on the 19th fret B string and then bend it again on the 22nd fret. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you have a Line 6 Helix, HX Stomp, Pod Go, or HX Effects, please consider picking up the patch for yourself so that you can play exactly through every single section of the song with ease. We'll see you guys in the next video.